guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. So, we have ourselves a challenge. We've got a sick cow. Um, it's one of my um, quapaw uh, cows. And she's, um, I think she's being pulled down by the calf a little bit. It's about time to, to separate them. We don't have our handling system uh, quite done yet. Still waiting on some. Uh, waiting on the actual squeeze chute to, to be done, getting that crash gate put on the front. So um, once we get that done, we'll, we'll pretty much have all the pieces we need. So in the meantime, we can't necessarily work them through the handling system quite yet. So I'm gonna have to do a some things different because of that. Um, you know, just getting, just getting started here and don't quite have all the, the system yet, but uh, so. With one of our cows, she's not, she just doesn't look very good, and you can just tell when something's wrong with them. So, I called Doc, called my vet, Doc Parsons, and um, explained what was going on. And he said, "Well, come get, come get some antibiotics." All right. So one of the cows that I'm going to take care of is right here. Um, she's lost, she's lost a ton of weight. Um, these are the quapaw heifers, um, my two bred heifers that I had last year and that had babies now, and. Uh, She's just lost some weight and doesn't look very good. And um, you can tell in these bison real quick when their body starts to change. So we're going to get her taken care of. And it's going to be a challenging process. But, um, you know, since we don't have a handling system yet, we got to get this done. And um, I don't like her being stressed out, maybe from <clears throat> Teddy, her calf. And so we're going to try to get her taken care of and then I'm going to try to separate these calves and put them in a smaller lot and start the weaning process. Um, so we got some challenges ahead but i um, willing to face them and, and get through them. Stuff we got to do to make the herd better. Dunbar, he's always getting into something. <laughs> okay, so what I got here as I've got my Got some sweet feed here, and then I have um, this antibiotic. I'm not exactly sure the name of it. Um, when uh, the vet tells you what to do, and uh, when the bison guy tells you what to do, you just do it. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. Tell me, get about a tablespoon of a heaping tablespoon of this stuff. So I'm gonna pour it in there and um, mix it up here in the sweet feed. And I'm going to do my regular routine feeding. And what um, this heifer, or what this cow does, is um, they always eat together. The two quapaw heifers always eat together. And um, the calves eat with them. But I'm going to try a little trick and see if I can get her to um, get this food just by herself. We're the only one that really wants her to eat this. Uh, the only bison to eat this. It wouldn't hurt if the other ones ate this i mean um you know it's an antibiotic they all need a little bit of that every now and then just to fight all the bacteria going on um and uh so just for their own health but um this is something that we um you know that you would handle normally through a chute but we don't have that quite yet so we've got to do the best we can and um so we're gonna get this going and try to get her feeling better
so we got her separated. What it actually kind of worked out pretty nice, but I'm just worried about this uh, this cow. This is Dakota, and there's Teddy with her. Um, luckily, got him separated, and this is one of our new feed bins that's divided. So I put her feet on one side, and um, this is going to be the kind of challenges. Um, you know, the dock, the our, our dock, the vet said it needed to be in her feed. You know, every every feeding and so we feed in the mornings and we feed in the evenings so we really need to kind of get the calf off of her i think the calf is pulling you know her down some i think that's causing some stress um these calves are about six or seven months you you know old and uh it's about time to wean them so we may go ahead and separate the calves but then also you've got to worry about um you know her you can't single them out um i think pulling bison uh, by themselves is not good it even causes more stress she's already under stress because she's she's sick and her health is not great so we can't separate her by herself i know some of you are probably like well just separate her by herself and and feed her every day well it causes more stress on bison when you separate them and they're singled out these are very social animals and they got to be with their family and they got to be with the herd and so it's definitely a challenge. We don't have the right setup quite yet to, to put her with certain animals um, because you'd be dividing the herd up. And when you do that, you, you change a lot of things. So um, hopefully she, uh, we can do this. My stepdad, Kevin, who takes care of him um, when I can't, uh, it'll be a challenge for him to, to feed him every day and to feed her um, kind of by herself. And that's who we're focused on and getting that antibiotic in her so we'll see how she does with it she's eating so far she's eating pretty well um, but we'll see how it goes and um, hopefully she will keep her keep her eating this sweet feed um, it's, it is a sweet feed doc told me to mix, uh, to mix it with molasses and so that's what I gave her it's a new feed for her um, and so I mixed it with our normal four-way blend uh, just to kind of blend it in some and hopefully she's she's eating some of it and uh, we'll check it whenever she's done so we'll see how it goes maya get out
How you doing, buddy? You're all hyped up. He wants out. Oh. So you can kind of see some of the sad process of this is you've got um, Chaske right here, our firstborn, and you've got um, Quapaw. Um, they're talking back and forth, and I'm sure it's it's kind of sad to see them here, you know, uh, with the fence between them, and they're not used to that. And so this is the process uh, we're gonna have to go through. It's it's tough. It's tough for them, um, but. You know, it, it's part of this business, and uh, you know, unfortunately, you have to do this to 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 get the mom to you know keep taking care of herself, and this gives the calf a chance to to grow um, and um, mature and, and do his own thing, and mom can move on and and um, be able to breed and have another calf uh, successfully, so we can continue to grow our herd. And uh, this is just a process of. Um, when you have a, a bison farm and, and you're trying to do things the right way. So here it is.